Hello everyone. Welcome to the knowledge series presented by Jainam Brokering Limited. Let me introduce now with one of my own favorite website for fundamental analysis of a company. We would see how screener can be used effectively and how can we track our company. So, without wasting time, let me start considering an example of an easy trip planners. This is its market price and percentage change in price. We can get direct link to the company's website here. This is its BSC code and NSC code. Further, these are all the basic informations regarding the company. Let's say its P ratio, EPS, ROE, ROC, debt to equity, its sales and profit growth. On the right hand side, you can see the company's details. In short, it is the Wikipedia of the company. The link attached to the heading will directly take you to the page from where the data is fetched. Any person can put its view on the company here, but they get uploaded only after being approved and verified. Now, let's start with analyzing the profit and loss account. We can see the sales growth over a period of a 12 years and also TTM that is trailing 12 months and also the net profit margin. Whether it is consistent, cyclical or any sudden change has taken place which will help us understand the alternate view of a company. We can also get the compounded data of a sales growth, profit growth, stock price and return on equity of 10 years, 5 years, 3 years, etc. Next comes analyzing the product segment. Here we can see the amount and growth in percentage terms of sales, profit before interest and tax, capital employed of each and every segment. We can get in the amount terms as well as growth terms. Talking about return on capital employed, looking at the trend of increasing ROC shows how company utilizes its profit in generating more capital for the benefits of the shareholders. Now, talking on the cash flows, increase in cash flows of an operating activity is more useful in analyzing the platform companies. Cash flows from operations and effective management of a working capital shows the productive performance of the company but on the other side we should also analyze the debtors day increase in such indicates that the company does not get pay from the sale of its services so that's all for now we will learn more on the screener in the upcoming video so thank you please do like share and subscribe the page and stay tuned